Hi Joe. I enjoy reading another article of yours, e-commerce alone keeps retail sales growing. And I would like to ask a few follow-up questions. Go ahead. Per your article, retail sales were up 1.9%, including offline retail growth by 1% and e-commerce growth by 6.5%. But if we are to adjust the retail trend numbers to the inflation rate of 3%, actually there is a decline of brick and mortar by 1.9% and only e-commerce has been growing by 3.4%. These parameters show that alongside the shrinkage of the market, e-commerce is growing, which is a strong signal of the continued shift in consumer behavior towards online shopping. Do you agree with that? You know, it's, it's difficult to... Um to combine inflation figures with retail growth. But it is true that if you take into account inflation, retail is either growing very slowly or not growing at all. So assuming offline retail doesn't grow at all at best, how do you think traditional brick and mortar retailers are adapting to this reality? You're obviously seeing experiment, experimental retail and, and retail stores that include some sort of a fun or interesting uh, shopping experience, but beyond that, it's, it's hard. It's hard to say what it's what is working for them. Are low cost players like Shein and Temu primarily disrupted to offline retailers? All e commerce companies, Shein and Temu, Temu included, are driving consumers to shop more online. So, in categories that Shein, for example, is very strong at, in, which is primarily clothing and beauty products, they're perhaps bringing some of the consumers that used to shop at H&M or Zara and now, and now bringing them uh, to shop online. If your customers used to come to the stores and uh, specifically because the products were only available in the store and that, that was the appeal of Zara, that was the appeal of H&M, Uniqlo and many others, um, now you can get it online even faster with more selection. So. Many of those shoppers are choosing to shop online because the available assortment, the shipping speed, it's all better. Amazon Green Q2 by 8.5%. Yes. Is all of that on the account of eBay and Etsy? What we're seeing right now in e-commerce is that it's a winner's take all market. Amazon, Walmart, TikTok Shop, Temu, and Shein are responsible for most of the growth in e-commerce, more than half. The rest are spread across smaller retailers. And then you also have a selection of uh, retailers that are not growing like Etsy or eBay and uh, many others as well. So all of it means that um, most of the growth goes to a few select companies and everyone else is either struggling along or, um, or, just, or declining. And what about Shopify stores? Shopify is, is, is a unique category because it powers millions of e-commerce websites, but it itself is not a shopping destination. So it continues to grow much faster than the overall market. But a lot of that growth comes from new stores joining Shopify. It's always hard to know um, how much of Shopify's GMB growth comes from same stores, stores that have been selling on Shopify for a long time, or from new stores that switch to Shopify software. But it is true that um, direct-to-consumer uh, commerce as a category, it, it is performing really well, and a lot of that happens on Shopify.